Hi there, Alex here at mixinglessons.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the versions and the bookmarks in Luna. So within Luna, when you start a new session, you will give your session a name. So let's just call it song name, which isn't particularly creative, I'll admit. And then what will happen is as you're working on this session, Luna will continually save this session in the background. But you have two options for things that you can do. You can save a new version of the mix. So what you would do here is let's say you've done a mix and then you want to create an alternative version of the mix. So you might call this mix B. Then what you can do is you can go into your versions and bookmarks and you'll have the initial version of the mix and then you'll have the new version of the mix that you've created. So we could rename this one and call it mix A. And so what you could do is maybe mix A is the original version of the song and then mix B is an alternative version. And so maybe you have some different ideas about the way that you could mix this song. Maybe you're mixing for a client and you've got some different ideas and you want to be able to bounce two different mixes, mix A and mix B, and say, which one do you prefer? And then they might say to you, we like mix A, but we would like these three revisions. And so then what you can do is you can load mix A, open that up, and that will give you that version of the session. And then you can carry out those revisions and bounce that song and send it to the client. Or maybe you need to make a different version of the track. Maybe you need to save a new version and it's going to be an instrumental version. Once again, you can save a different version and then that way within the same session, you have access to all of the different versions of the song or of the mix that you're going to need. So there could be mix A, mix B, there could be an instrumental version, there could be a clean version like a radio edit, there might be a remix. And so what this allows you to do is save all of those different versions within one session, which is a really nice sort of streamlined way of working. Obviously, you could do that in other DAWs. You could maybe just duplicate the original session and then create the different versions. And so you'd have different sessions for each different version of the session, if that makes sense. But this is a more streamlined way of working. And the good thing about this is that you don't run that risk that you can run sometimes where your session files get separated from your audio files. And so the two things aren't linking up anymore. Things like that don't really occur when you're just working within the one session, but you're saving different versions. Okay, now the next thing you can do is you can save bookmarks within versions. So let's go back to mix A. And then let's say within mix A, we want to save, kind of think of it as like a snapshot or like a checkpoint. So let's say you've done all of the editing, the editing's complete, then you could save a bookmark. You could call it whatever you want to call it. And then you can save the session at that moment in time. And then once again, what you can do is you can go to your versions and bookmarks and within mix A, you can go back to that point. Or alternatively, let's go into the instrumental version of the mix. And maybe you've completed the static mix. So you've set all of your levels and you've done your panning and you want to save the session at that moment in time, a snapshot before you do any of the EQ or compression or anything like that, because sometimes you might just want to be able to revert back to an earlier point and go from there without having to try and undo things or start bypassing things or whatever it may be. So you would simply go to save bookmark, Call it whatever you want to call it. So in this instance, we'd say static mix is complete. You could leave notes if you wanted to as well. Save and then at any point you can go to versions and bookmarks and you've got each of the different versions that you've created and within that any bookmarks that you've placed within those versions. So it's a really useful little feature in Luna. I think it's a really nice way of working where each song is just saved as one session and within that you have versions and you can go to various sort of checkpoints or bookmarks within each version of the session. It's a really nice way of working and it's something I really like about Luna. Now, as always, if you're somebody who records and mixes music, I've got three free guides that I think you'll find really, really useful. I've got an EQ cheat sheet, a compression cheat sheet, and a vocal recording guide. And these are designed to take some of the guesswork out of these different elements of recording and mixing. And you can get all three of those completely free when you head over to mixinglessons.com slash free dash downloads. If you're interested in learning more about Luna, I'll leave a link on screen to a video, which is my mixing review of Luna. 
And I think you'll find that video really interesting if you're thinking about downloading Luna and starting to test it out and see if it will work for you. So check that video out. I hope you find it interesting. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.